illustrations by Pete. I have uncovered a secret that no one until this point I don't understand why people have not been talking about this. Let me give you a little bit of history. There's some weird things happening. It's alien technology. I can prove it. What happened was everybody was talking about 2012. Oh, that's when Nibiru was going to come up over the horizon. You believed it. You were fooled. Ha ha. Instead, it came up around 2007. The Anunnaki sent the Agigi to the Illuminati who had a meeting with Derwent and they said we have this technology we're gonna hide it in plain sight you create something with it until we're ready for it it'll unite the whole world but for now put it into a pencil and then when you've perfected that put it into a block and that's what they did let's talk about the pencils first so you scribble the pencil out any watercolor pencil you scribble out you add water and it you see the color. Sometimes it's bright and vibrant, it's wonderful, but it always dilutes. It always gets a little bit darker when you add that water. Not the ink tense line. You add water, color pops. It gets brighter, more vibrant when you add water. That's strange. You're watering it down, it gets better. Then the blocks. Okay, you put the water on the block, you put it on the paper. It then becomes insoluble on the paper. Now we see this. You take any ink in a liquid form, you put it on paper, most of it, if it's designed that way, becomes insoluble after it's dried. That's not something new. But let me show you where the voodoo is. This block is already dry. You add water to it, it becomes water soluble. You put that onto the paper, it becomes insoluble. You cannot add water to it again. You would think, that the layer on top that you've soaked in water would now become insoluble on the block. No, the block always remains soluble, but once it touches the paper, it's insoluble. I don't know what's happening here. It's some weird stuff, and Derwin's always doing weird stuff, so they figured no one would question them. No one would have a problem with anything they were doing. They're just doing weird stuff all the time. So no one would second guess, hey, how'd Derwin come up with this? I know. There's got to be a tape out there somewhere. I'm going to find it, and it's going to be the recording of the meeting, and, and one day I'll get it and I'll play it for you. If this video is taken down, you'll know why. They got to me. Send help. I'm going to put out a couple of videos on these blocks, because I love them. I always have. Ever since I got them. They were like one of my favorite things. I don't use them a lot on the channel. I don't know why. I love them. Now, they are bright and vibrant. I didn't do that in this one. In this video, what I'm going to show you is, have you ever seen a what they call a porcelain mushroom? Or they're, they're fungus that grow, they're white, but they're kind of iridescent. They reflect other colors, but not always the colors around them. Sometimes a blue or a pinkish hue to it. Well, I saw one of those. I loved it. I wanted to paint one for a long time. I just was doing a little sketch. I said, well, these things grow on dead, rotten wood another plant material so I just sketched a little tree thing little branch bark thing with the mushroom coming up some grass behind it some fuzzy you know moss or something growing around it that's what I want to do it's just a sketch I'm gonna sketch this video the next video I'm gonna do more color it's something to get something quick down to sketch with these are great for that they layer really well I even used the white block and went on top a little bit with some color, with some green color. And you can see, towards, it doesn't look like it at first, but it gets, it's on top of there. It's pretty opaque. And you paint stuff on top and it's, it's pretty good. So that's what I'm doing in this one. But I promise I will do more of these, add some more color, I'll do some more abstract things. I'm recording another video right now where I do an abstract painting with it and instead of where I usually put the ink to define lines I'm just going to use darker blocks and use that draw it in with the paintbrush uh, this is my favorite way to use these all right let's get into it okay and what I wanted to do here is do a little sketch I really like those mushrooms like I said so I wanted to sketch them out and that's what I did I just did a quick sketch and these the intense blocks are known for their bright colors but I didn't use them I used like a brown 
and another brown and then a little bit of green and a darker blue nothing bright nothing that makes nothing that you would showcase the ink tents with but I just wanted to show you how quickly you can lay these down now if you're gonna do wet into wet you wanna make sure that you keep the area saturated very well and then work it as you wanna work it once it dries you're just glazing after that you're just putting color over color I really like the texture that this creates um, when you charge in extra color sometimes you'll see it it, sometimes it'll stay put, sometimes it'll move a little bit, but I just like the texture that it creates. It's, it lets the texture of the paper kind of come through, and I guess in a... I don't know if you would call it granulating. Some people would say that these are non-granulating, but some of them look like they are. And so, uh, especially this brown, when I first put the brown down, some of it looked like it was granulating. Not, not in, in the smooth watercolor way but just deposits of color and pigment and then some watered out bled out areas it's just it's just the way it looks i think it's really it lends itself very nicely to sketching because you can put in a very light layer and just keep building them up you never re-wet the underside layer so if you want to build on top build on top build on top that's what this is for just keep going and layering and layering now another question I'd like to look into is and, and ask you, have you ever created something in a sketchbook that you love and then when you try to recreate it as a finished piece, you can't recreate that magic of that original one? That's very frustrating. I think I might have mentioned this before somewhere a while ago, but it frustrates me. Uh, I'm not using this piece as an example because it was just a sketch and deserves to be in a sketchbook. I'm happy with it. I like it, but it's just a sketch. It's just something quick. There's no finishedness about this. But I've created some things that I thought were great in the sketchbook, and I go to put it on uh, a separate piece, maybe a loose piece of paper or uh, a canvas piece to maybe sell it one day, and I cannot recreate what I love so much about the original one. And sometimes it's you can. Sometimes it's easier. But no, this was, it's not. Sometimes you get so frustrated, you just want to tear the page out of the book and try and sell it. But you, you know, most books, not this one, most books have crappy paper in them. I'm telling you, you put, you don't want to sell that thing. You don't want to give it to someone and then the thing yellows because it's the paper. Oh no, it has, you know, it's good. It's, it's non-acid. That's just a buffer they put in. That wears out the non-acid paper that's they add something to it so that it, it doesn't discolor for a certain amount of time eventually it will I'm telling you make sure you have 100% cotton paper make sure it's it's paper for what you're doing artist grade paper cellulose paper will eventually deteriorate it will eventually discolor I'm sure all paper will eventually deteriorate, but they'll eventually discolor no matter what you do to it. It just has pH blockers in them and things to stop the acid from coming out, but eventually those go away. And I'll tell you when that happens, it drives me nuts. I get something I think is perfect. I want to give it to someone. I want to try and sell it. Nope, it's in the sketchbook. It's going to stay there forever. That's just how it's going to be. And I'll never recreate that. I've got to share it, do the pictures. I can maybe make a print. You can make a print of it, which is nice. But you'll never be able to sell that original. And sometimes, if it's that nice, maybe you don't want to. Maybe you want to hold on to it. I don't know. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. I know what I want. That does lead to another thing. It, have you ever... Now, here's the thing. I have a hard time recreating something I've already created because I've already done it. Years and years ago, I used to paint the same thing over and over and just over and over and practice it. Now when I paint something, I feel like I should be done with it. I feel I got it out of my system, I created it, and now I want to move on. I don't want to paint the same thing over and over and over. I want to do something new, do something different, experiment a little bit. I love experimenting with art. My favorite thing to do is to experiment. 
And let me know how you are with that. Do you like to paint the same thing over and over or draw the same thing over and over? Or do you like to just do it one time? You're Whether you're happy or not, you just move on. You've created it, you're going to go to the next thing. I'd love to hear that because that's something I think that's just recently with me. Like I said, I used to, I have no problem, paint the same thing over and over and over and get better and better at it and improve on it. Now I can't stand it. I just want to do it one time and be done. So let me know what you feel about that. So if I had to say one thing that I was actually very pleased with in this whole thing was that right side of the wood. I love how that came out. The left side, not so much. It was a little bit different. I mean, that's what it looked like in the picture. I did have like find a reference picture for this, but I really, I wanted it to look a little bit nicer. The right side of that wood, that's exactly what it looked like. I was really pleased with that. The other side was just, I don't know. I don't know if I lost what I was trying to do. I just added too much and I shouldn't have. It was similar to what it looks like in the picture. It just doesn't look like wood. It's There's a lot more squiggly lines in it instead of straight lines and, and shadows. and But whatever. That's what it looked like. All right, well, I'm going to go. This has been fun. I've enjoyed it. And these... The blocks are great. I love Inktense blocks. I've been a fan since they first came out. Since the pencils came out, I've been a fan. And one day I'm going to look for that tape. And I'm going to have to play that for you about that secret meeting. That was that's something else. I saw it once. I saw the whole thing. I know what they're doing. I know what you're doing, Derwent. I figured you out. Alright, I'm going to go. I'll see you in the next one.